for anything here today. What's the spoon for? There. Oh, why have they done that? Here we go. Oh, I love it. <laughs> what did you cut there? I cut the lettuce. But there's the cake. Okay. carrying on the family business, which doesn't mean being solemn all the time. No, she was trying so hard not to laugh. When yes. your mother was <laughs> saying... Down, tips up into a lap. Osborne in a, in, a, in a... When, you know, when she was very yeah. old, and, and the ambassador came into the Durbar room, that great oh, long room, oh, and he skidded, and he landed, you know, feet okay. first at, at, at the bottom of the mm. steps of the throne. And all the others, you know, having the most terrible trouble to avoid exploding in laughter. The only thing that, that they could notice with, with the Queen Victoria was that she was just trembling the slightest little bit as all this was going on, but she never gave any sign. <laughs> and afterwards? And afterwards, of course, there was a the tear down, down, down her cheeks. Yeah. She had this incredible control. Oh, <laughs> I did be able to do that. 
Because my father also, he had terrible trouble. Oh, oh, he did have some very strange habits, your father. I remember when I used to come up to Royal Lodge, I, I asked when I arrived, I know if it was the, the, the king, and they said, oh, he's, he's in the garden. And, yeah. and uh, I went out and I, there's nothing to be seen except a lot of ex terribly rude words and language coming out of a rhododendron bush. I eventually found him there, hacking away, wearing a bearskin cap. Yeah. Was, <laughs> you know, he's getting ready. Yeah. But don't really know whether to laugh or to cry. Yeah, you can sort of pretend to blow your nose and, in fact, hold it too long. It is extremely difficult sometimes to keep a straight uh, face when the Home Secretary with his hand every day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he came in beforehand, <clears throat> like they do, and he said to me, uh, there's, uh, there's a gorilla coming in. So I said to him, what an extraordinary remark to make, very unkind about it anybody. And uh, so, you know, I stood in the middle of the room and pressed the bell and the doors opened, and there was a grown up. <laughs> and I had the most terrible trouble in <coughs> keeping, you know, he had short body, long arms, and a very... But he was grown, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and I had the most appalling trouble, because nobody else knew but me what he'd said, you see. Yeah, that happened to me. I'd, I'd have to dissolve. Yeah, I don't know what I'd have to walk out. <laughs>